Welcome to Sheikh Mohammed Center for Culture Understanding. Our signature is open doors, open minds. What we mean behind that is you can simply ask any questions at all. Hopefully by you guys asking questions, we get to learn and we get to know more experience and culture about our country. Now the very first thing that we do, we offer our guests the Arabic kahwa, which is the Arabic coffee. Now alongside we offer also the dates. So we do have three main ingredients in our coffee. The coffee will have uh, cardamom, rose water, and saffron. Now we do also use some postures and gestures. Um, so you could have something important and you don't want it to get interrupted. So if you wish to have some more coffee, you simply extend the cup. By extending the cup, this means I'm willing to have some more coffee. Now if you had enough coffee and you're not willing to have any more, you simply give it a slight shake. So shaking it means take it. If you told him, please, I had enough, I no longer want it, he's gonna again put it for you till the next day, right? So the way to tell him is by giving it a slight shake. Older days, they used to hire deaf people. So the silent servant will be deaf in regards of having the whole uh, conversation not to go outside the, the house or the room. But nowadays, as I said, he could perfectly hear us. We do have also an old history. The coffee was originated and it was uh, firstly found in Ethiopia. They didn't actually know what to do with it. The animals started to eat the coffee and, and be energized in a way. So the humans were like, hmm, what should we do with this? They didn't quite know what to do with it. And then it was found again and discovered in Yemen. In Yemen, they actually knew what to do with it. They started crushing the coffee beans, roasting it on fire, and finally blending it with, with water. And they came up with the final uh, coffee in a place called Makha. Remember this name? Nowadays, if you go to Starbucks, if you go to Costa, all the well-known coffee shops, it's switched into mocha. So nowadays you will hear mocha cafe, mocha frappuccino. It's because of the area that's called Macha. I've reached end of our session. If you have any further questions, you can follow us at SMCCU. We have all the social media. You can post your questions and hopefully we will answer them. So any other than that, I would like to thank you again for visiting us. Thank you very much. Thank you.